the news updates. Why we can't arrest president elect Ashwaju Tinubu over US aid drug allegation. Welcome to today's news and thank you for tuning in to the news. But please don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button and also the bell for more updates. Now to the news details. The National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, has filed a preliminary objection to a suit instituted by the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and a shifting of the opposition party, Senator Dino Milaye, seeking an order of mandamus to compel the Anti-Narcotics Agency to arrest and prosecute the president-elect Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu over alleged forfeiture of some funds in his bank accounts over two decades ago in the United States. In its notice of preliminary objection, signed and filed at the Federal High Court in Abuja, on Wednesday, 26 April 2023, by its Director of Prosecution and Legal Services, Joseph Bona Sunday, and the LEA submitted that the application by the PDP, which is the first applicant, with Melaye as second, is incompetent, adding that the court lacks the jurisdiction to entertain it and as such should be struck out. Listing its grounds for the objection, the NDLEA said both PDP and Dino Melaye do not have a local standing. They do not possess an interest peculiar to them and observe the interests of all other Nigerians. The only underlying specific interest of the first applicants then becomes political in nature adding that the investigation and prosecution of Tinobu was targeted at removing him as a bona fide candidate in the February 25th, 2023 presidential election. The agency argued that order of mandamus is an equitable remedy and should only be applied for in good faith and should not produce an indirect or underlying results. The doctrine of judicial self-restraint precludes this honorable court from delving into matters with political color- coloration or matters aimed at getting direct or indirect political games. While noting that the foundation of the PDP application was the proceeding of the U.S. District Courts of the Northern District of Illinois Eastern Division in the U.S. The judgment in the said proceeding was given with prejudice, adding that the said proceedings and judgment have no judicial value, and as such, the supposed cause of action of the suits as constituted is baseless and legally unstable. In a sworn affidavit in support of the agency's preliminary objection, a litigation officer attached to its Directorate of Prosecution and Legal Services, Chai Cosmas Depon, said that as an independent agency of government saddled with the responsibility to investigate, arrest and prosecute persons involved in drug trafficking, and other related offenses in Nigeria. The NDLEA has a LD relationship with the government of the United States of America. The name of Ashuraji Bola Ahmed Tinubu, by whatever acronyms or combination of names, has never featured in the exchanges we had with the United States of America. He further claimed that the name of Tinumbu has also not featured in the radar 
and database of the agency as a person arrested, investigated, or prosecuted in connection with drug or other related offenses. Why noting that though NDLEA relies on intelligence and information from foreign and domestic partners, as well as public spirited individuals, both PDP and Melai have never for once since the establishment of the agency in 1990 made or forwarded any complaints, information and or intelligence on Tinubu or any other person in Nigeria or outside the country relating to illicit activities on drug matters until 17th January 2023. To further justify the positions of the agency, the litigation officer in the sworn affidavit made the following submissions. That this suit as presently constituted does not confer the courts with jurisdiction. Concerning the drug allegation of the president-elect Ashiwajibola Ahmed Tinubu, whereby it was said that he forfeited four sixty thousand dollars to the US government and as such he is not supposed to contest as a president in the country. So they and the LEA has spoken concerning it and said that they can't arrest Ashura Jibala Metinumbu because they've worked with the international laws and made it known to them that there is no name or acronym situated to the president elect involving crimes, forfeiture of money or any other thing. So they don't have the right to arrest him. The standard of proof in the criminal indictment, charges and proceedings is proof beyond a reasonable doubt and that the suit was not a criminal indictment or charge. So, the NDLEA has said they can't arrest him. Not only the orders relating to the funds held in Heritage Bank, where the sum of $460,000 was forfeited, was made simpliciter and without a caveat. That the cause of action of the applicant is dead and legally unstable. So the NDLEA said the suit in which the PDP and Melaye has filed is so watery and there's nothing they can do to it. We have come to the end of the news. What's your view? Do share your comments in the comment section. Thank you.